welcome back to the channel. You're watching Unbiased Magic Reviews, the most objective magic review channel here on YouTube. Thanks so much for clicking on the video and spending a few moments of your day with me. I'm sure that this is gonna be extremely helpful to you guys because I'm gonna share with you a very powerful tool that is gonna just catapult your magic and mentalism. And what I'm talking about is ChatGPT. Now, you've probably heard about this artificial intelligence chatbot because it's been in the news. It's used for a variety of different things, including writing papers and essays, coming up with computer uh, programming, generating graphics, and even condensing or summarizing large books. But what you may not realize is that you can use it to practice your magic and mentalism. Um, because it's essentially like having um, just like a, a virtual spectator next to you, really. And a lot of the magic and mentalism that we perform, you have the spectator just think of something. And when we practice that, we use different types of generators to generate random information. But the input that we get is more a visual type of input because we're using this on our phone or on a computer screen. And by using chat GPT, you can emulate a real spectator and get that auditory stimuli just like how you would if you were performing in real life. So it's a way of practicing almost like a real life performance situation. Very useful with things that are like propless mentalism, even things that have to do with card magic. And so I'm gonna show you guys a couple examples of just very simple examples, just a few of the ways that I've used ChatGPT to practice my magic and mentalism. Obviously, I can't touch on all of them here, but I would be interested to know more about how you are using it if you are using ChatGPT. Now, you can download it for free, and it does remember your previous interactions with it, which is really kind of interesting because it does kind of learn, especially when you practice different types of propless mentalism because you have to be careful that your instructions are really clear or it might get confused because it doesn't pick up on subtle nuances of language, even though it is designed to emulate like a nut, like a human, for example. Let me show you guys a couple examples of how I've been using chat GPT just to practice my magic and mentalism. So I'm gonna open it up here and I like using the voice recognition part of it. Hello chat. Hello chat. Hey, do you remember what I do for a living? Yes, you're a medical doctor specializing in hospital medicine. How's work been lately? See, it knows me. Um, great, let's try something. Sure, what would you like to try? Name any random date from this year. How about May 20th? May 20th, 2024 is going to be on a Monday. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. May 20th, 2024 falls on a Monday. All right, let's take it a step further. What do you say? I'm up for it. What's the next step? The next step is to name a random year from the last 80 years. Let's go with 1999. 1999. So May 20th, 1999 was on a Thursday. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. May 20th, 1999 fell on a Thursday. Was that fast? It felt pretty fast to me. Anything else you'd like to try? <sighs> yeah, let's practice the memorized stack. What do you say? So this is another good way you could use it. Absolutely. How would you like to practice the memorized stack today? Um, name a random number from one to 52 for me. Let's go with 28. 28, the 28th card in the Joyal stack is a seven of diamonds. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. 
The 28th card in the Joyal stack is the Seven of Diamonds. So you could use it for whatever stack that you like, that you want to practice with it, but you could even use it for other types of routines. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean. Hey chat, what's my favorite card plot? Your favorite card plot is any card at any number. This thing knows me, doesn't it? All right, let's try it. Let's do the any card at any number. What do you say? Let's do it. What's the card and number you have in mind? Well, actually, you're the one that's going to do it. So name a random number from 1 to 52 for me. All right, let's go with 15. 15. All right, very good. Can you name for me a random card? Sure, let's say the Four of Clubs. Four of Clubs, any reason or you just like that one? Just a random choice. Just let's a random. Let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. So here's what I would do is I would ask you to, to just open up your hand and I would say to you, here, take the cards as I dump them in your hand and then I would have you count down to number 15 is what you said, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And what was your card you said? The four of clubs. Four of clubs, there it is. There is your card. So you could see how you could practice with this um, and you could do this over and over again. Hey, name a random number from 1 to 52 for me. Let's go with 34 this time. That's a different number, 34, right? All right, so tell me any random card you like. Let's go with the Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts. Any reason or you just like that one? Just a random choice again. Just a random choice. And you said what number again? 34? Is that what you said? Yes, 34 was the number. So we would just count down to 34 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3. And here is 34. Here's your card. Jack of Hearts. That's awesome. Isn't it? It's great to see how you can practice your memorized stack with these routines. Actually, that... Anything else you'd like to try? That didn't even use a memorized stack, which is hilarious. Hey, you want to try one more thing? Absolutely. Let's keep the magic going. What's next? All right. I want you to clear your mind. My mind is clear and ready. What's next? Think of an interesting letter, but don't tell it to me. Got it. I'm thinking of a letter. What's the next step? All right. I want you to think of a word that's at least four letters long, and it starts with your letter. And it's something that you could see or touch in front of you, but don't tell me your word. Just think of it. Got it? I'm thinking of a word that fits the criteria. What's next? I want you to mentally send it to me. I've sent it. What's the word you received? Wow, so many words. I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. Tell me this. Is it alive or it's dead? It's alive. It's alive. Does it live in water? Yes, it lives in water. And it has a tail? Yes, it has a tail. Hmm. Because you know what? I was getting that you were thinking of an alligator. Am I right? Yes, you're right. I was thinking of an alligator. Great job figuring it out. No, you sent it to me mentally. Ah, I see what you did there. You got me. Well played. So you guys can just see how much fun this is. And it's just so useful. And if you 
do any type of propless mentalism, I would urge you to download this app and practice with it because not only it's just, it's kind of fun just to mess with it, but it will really quickly help you understand whether or not you really know you know you know your propolis effect and if you do it over and over and over again it's always going to come up with different answers and so it will just help you to get better at those routines that you perform and so i'd really like to know what you guys use chat gpt for if you do so if you do use it leave me a comment below and let us know how you use it because maybe you use it in a completely different way than what i've showed you guys here on this video because this is just such a valuable tool and i think that magicians as a whole have just overlooked it probably because it's gotten much more attention in like the technology sector but i don't think that a lot of people have realized how simple it is to use it's so easy to use that really it's like a no-brainer you can see all you have to do is talk to it really and so that's why I would tell you guys definitely to download it. Anyway, thanks so much guys for watching this video and hopefully this has been very helpful to you. I've had a blast with it as you can see. Um, and so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys today. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next review.